Number five, it's asking us to find all this information. So we want to fill in the blanks based on this information that's provided here. It's telling us that secant is equal to three halves, and they're telling us that the theta is between 270 and 360. For these kind of problems, what you want to do is set up a triangle, and we'll use the triangle to fill in all this here. So first, we know that the triangle, they tell us it's in the fourth quadrant. So we're going to draw the triangle here. The theta would be that one. We want to use trig definitions in order to set up the triangle. Secant is equal to 3 halves. Now if we talk about secant, if we look at the, the different definitions for it, secant would be hypotenuse over adjacent which means that the top number is the hypotenuse, that's the longest side of the triangle. The adjacent is gonna be two. Okay, this is our right triangle. So we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side, and then we can use that to fill in everything else. Pythagorean theorem is this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Be careful when you're labeling your triangle. Uh, this right here, the three, that's the one that goes in for C. So it's this, this side is the opposite the right angle. That's always your C, that's your hypotenuse. That goes in here. A and B doesn't matter what you want to use. Uh, so this will be 4 plus B squared equals 9. We'll subtract the 4 and we get 5. We square root that and we get square root of 5. Now you do normally get plus or minus when you take the square root, but because we're talking about a rectangle, we have to have pos we have to uh, choose actually which one we're going to use. So it's not going to be both. When you, we look at our drawing, we have to figure out whether it's going to be a positive or a negative based on what quadrant you're in. Because this side is below the x-axis, you need to put this as a negative. It's very important. So although you do get two answers, plus or minus, depends on where the triangle is drawn, whether you make it positive or negative. Because this sign is going to affect all your answers here. So make sure that you know what quadrant's in, you have to put the appropriate sign in it, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, so now we got this complete, we're ready to use trig definitions to fill these blanks. Sign is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite would be the one that's opposite or across the triangle from my theta. So this here, I'm going to label this side as opposite. We already said the 3 should be the hypotenuse because it's the longest side opposite the right angle and the 2 needs to be the adjacent side. So now that we have this complete, we can fill out all these based on the definitions. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That would be negative square root of 3, or negative square root of 5 rather, over 3. Okay, so that would be that one. Let's do tangent next. Tangent would be opposite over adjacent. Opposite is negative square root of 5 over adjacent, which is 2. This is negative square root of 5 over 2. Cosine is just going to be the reciprocal of the original one. It's the reciprocal of secant. So if we take the reciprocal of that one, it's going to be 2 thirds. These two now are going to involve reciprocals as well. Sine uh, and cosecant, those are reciprocals. So if I want to find the cosecant, I'm going to take the reciprocal of sine. Negative 3 over square root of 5, but we have to rationalize it. We're going to multiply top and bottom by square root of 5 over square root of 5. And we get negative 3 square root of 5 over 5. And that's the answer for cosecant. Negative 3 root 5 over 5. Cotangent, we're going to take the reciprocal of tangent. Negative 2 over square root of 5. Once again, you're going to rationalize, multiply it by root 5 over root 5, and you get negative 2 square root of 5 over 5. And that would be its exact answer. So again, it's asking you for exact values. That means you need to leave your answers in terms of square roots. Now rationalizing, uh, if I don't, this one, uh, says to rationalize all roots. 
on a test, if I don't put that on there, that means you can just leave your answer as negative two over root five and you wouldn't have to do the extra step, but because the direction said rationalize all roots, that's where we did that for cosecant and cotangent.